morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Yes, coming to you guys on the 6th of February on a beautiful Monday from Phuket in Thailand, looking at the weekly close from yesterday and what the opening was and how I think Bitcoin will move in the next week. Now, now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Bam! This is the first chart, guys. This is a four hour chart. Uh, on this four hour chart, we can see the bam bam indicator. That's the indicator that I use to trade. Um, that one is telling me when to sell and when to buy. And it beautifully told me again to sell over here. And then you need to wait for a confirmation to close down below the yellow stepping line or yellow in the bottom and blue. And then you just ride out that short. Um, yes, there was a long signal, but. There was no confirmations of the long because there was a shitload of blue and yellow and that's not a valid long signal. Triple confirmation is what counts over here. I told you, I think I drew these lines around here, that we could go back to the channel bottom and to the top again or even break out of it just like we did in this area over there. We broke out of the channel and then we came up again. So what options do we have now? We can go all the way down to fill all the way this gap over here. Uh, we could also go down, come up and retest that one and then go down again, retest that line I'm talking about, that dotted line. Um, or we could just come down and repeat what we did last time and bam, go up again and go for that 25k level that we want to see so eagerly in Bitcoin, guys. Um, if you want to trade this all without um, needing to be doing all the calculations and all that stuff of the Fibonacci, etc., then just use the Bam Bam indicator. You can have access to the Bam Bam indicator by going to here, the bitcoinfamily.com, and you will find it under products. And then you'll find all the indicator packages. Do you want to test a free one? Then take the GT Guard. That one is completely for free. You only need to do five steps and the five steps are uh, number one uh, you become a family member on discord i don't think that is the most important one to me for me if you skip that step also okay you need to be a youtube subscriber you need to be a bybit referral that you do that by clicking the link down below this video uh, or scan the qr code that you see in the screen at home then you can claim 30 dollar for free and up to thirty thousand us dollar depending on how much bitcoin you uh, deposit that's an extra bonus over there you follow me on twitter and you fill this form and then you get completely free access to the gt uh, which will help you to understand when to take trades and when not to take trades guys and now let's quickly zoom out to the next chart. bam over here this is the day chart let's say where my face is on the day chart yes i need to put it on the right spot over there um on the day chart guys you can see that what i've been telling you already now for a couple of days no more than ways like almost two weeks we are going to see a golden cross the golden cross is when that uh, green line is crossing the red line the 50 day moving average crossing the 200 day moving average which is a very bullish moment uh, does it mean that bitcoin can't come back like i drew already with a yellow line yes we could retest that dotted white line at 21k level before we go for the 25k and then that bullish across would be that next push for bitcoin up that's what we see we see bitcoin pulling back a little bit we see the rsi here coming down we see the bam bam line coming down so we will be pulling back to lower levels before we become even more bullish again which is how bitcoin always moves and we can also see that on bam this chart uh, this chart is zoomed out this is the weekly chart and on that weekly chart i've been telling you already for weeks if not months yes there will be a bottom and after the bottom we will have a high and after that high we will create a higher low and again a higher high and a higher low now we just saw the bottom, we saw a beautiful run here to the new high. Now we could create a higher low before we create a new higher high. And then again, a new higher, oh, that's a beautiful line, higher low. That's how Bitcoin moves a little bit, not backwards in time, but that's the way uh, it moves. And the most important line now is the 200 weekly moving average. This line is what sh the line that we should be breaking, but we see a bearish cross incoming over here. This is a death cross. This is not positive. Um, we haven't experienced these crosses on a weekly. I don't think we even had it once because the last time it happened in 2015, we bounced off it like that, um, which could happen still. But then this week and the next coming week should be bullish weeks. If we pull back, that would be bearish weeks. So we could see this small cross and then go up again. Let's see. Uh, very exciting to see because it never happened before. Uh, what will happen to Bitcoin? Um, you know me. 
I like to zoom out in a Bitcoin and zoom in at life. So that's why I have a next couple of charts for you guys. So you can zoom out with me because these charts tell you exactly where we are now in this cycle. And that is exactly what you should understand now. Now let's quickly bam jump over here. This is the first chart guys. This chart shows you uh, the Bitcoin price history. And on this Bitcoin price history, you can see here on the top there, uh, we have a lock scale. So the top was $32, the next up $1163, the next up $20K, and the next up $70K. And the bottom was two, one hundred and fifty, $3,000. 15,000. Now, the thing that is strange to my to most of you, and I think a lot of people are asking themselves, is like, uh, okay, this halving was $12, the next halving was $600, and then it was $8,500. So, from the bottom $2 to the halving of $12, sorry for the win, guys, um, is six times. Then, from the 150 bottom to 650 is around four times. So, six times the bottom, four times the bottom, then only two times the bottom. So two times, around two and a half times the bottom was that next halving. Now we are at 15K. What is gonna happen? So from six to four to two and a half, to what? To one and a half? To two again? We don't know. That's the surprise that Bitcoin is gonna show us in the next full run. But if you look at the cycles and how they are slowing down, uh, we could see a halving around 25k or something like that. You know, we don't know, but this chart is showing you. Now, let's see to the next one. Also a beautiful chart. This chart is showing you the Bitcoin cycle. So um, we can see in the bottom here, the 2021 cycle. We can see the 2017 and the 2013 cycles. Light, uh, yellow, darker yellow and uh, orange uh, and, and uh, pink. Now, we are now in that pinkish cycle, 2021 one. And we can see that there is a value zone and an extreme value zone. These are the zones that you should be stacking sets, you should be going all in, you should be selling your house and going all into Bitcoin. Those zones, exactly. So we are in that zone again. That You see the pinkish line over here, we are in those zones. This is the moment you buy because we had a blow of tops over there and we had a distribution top now the last time and then we go into this huge bear market always after that we have these tops and then we get into these zones where we should be buying and adding bitcoin every day because after that we will go up again and that's exactly where we are we are here in this area where we're almost exiting that zone to go into this new bull run and the bull run will take all the way up to 2025 just believe me because that's how the cycles just move now um, maybe a little bit more simplified uh, chart uh, that shows you exactly the same is this one over here on this one you can see as well um, that we have bull markets and bear markets and exactly where we are at the moment so yes these bull markets they went times 100 went times 20 that what are we go what are we going to do now times five till ten or divided by 5 is 20, divided by 5 is 4. We don't know. But we do know that we are here. We are at that bottom price. We are at that bottom price. And that is where you buy Bitcoin. Even if you only go times 4, you're 4xing your capital that you invest right now. So if you buy, if you sell your house and you put it in now, then maybe in one and a half to two years, you can buy four houses back. That's how you calculate simple. That's why this chart is very simplified. Now, and we can show you this one also in this chart, a very clear chart also, because we can see on this chart again, the cycles. Um, and on these cycles, we can see that there is a moment we will be bottoming out and we are bottoming out. And after that, up to the halving we will be going up in price so from that bottom to the halving line that red line in the middle it's the block 210,000. we will be going slowly up into that halving and then from that moment we will explode again into that next bull run and after that again to the next bear market so very important for you this is the last couple of weeks, I think, that you can be buying Bitcoin around these levels before we go up into the halving moments and after that even higher prices, okay? Very important. And then if you buy into Bitcoin at the moment, then the most important part after that one is that you, bam, over here, do what all these people are doing at the moment. You huddle. And you can see now that more people are huddling, huddling than trading. And I think that's a very positive thing because we can see the coins held longer than a year is the blue line, coins held shorter than a year is the orange line. And yes, more and more people are huddling their bitcoins longer than a year and less people are trading their bitcoins. So yes, finally they start to understand that they should be buying bitcoins and huddle it until the next bull run market top and then sell those bitcoins around that new bull market top 
to buy back those bitcoins again around the bear market bottom and that's how you dollar cost average in and dollar cost average out and that's how your capital keeps increasing every time and again and again so you have your capital working for bam you while you are enjoying beautiful thailand uh, and all the things that you love to enjoy in your life instead of zooming in into the charts you're zooming out on the charts don't freak out and you're zooming in at life so you zoom out look at the bigger picture of bitcoin understand that steve inflationary understand that's the best asset out there understand that it's a sort of value that can go up and down but an average only goes up and then you zoom in to life and start to enjoy all those things that you want to enjoy every time with yourself your family your wife whatever your situation is now thank you for watching hope you enjoyed these charts uh, if you did enjoy the video then give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, leave a comment what do you think about these charts what do you think about everything i just showed you and don't forget to sign up to buy bit because you can still get 30 dollars for free and click Claim up to 30,000 US dollar bonus. If you want to trade decentralized, go to Apex. The links are down below my video. Make sure you sign up to Apex because there's a shitload of bonuses coming your way as well. And I think it's the most important decentralized protocol exchange that is going to be there in that next bull run that will make it possible for you to trade from your own wallet without the need to deposit your bitcoins in an exchange. Really cool. Now, click the links down below. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.